Rivano from Spiritual Seeds on the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time, this beautiful gospel, beautiful good news. Really, I invite you to, to be really joyful this Sunday because the Church is giving us uh, something very beautiful, this word, from Luke. The Apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. The Lord replied, Were your faith the size of a master seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Which of you, with a servant ploughing or minding sheep, would say to him when he returned from the fields, Come and have your meal immediately? Would he not be more likely to say, Get my supper laid, make yourself tidy, wait on me while I eat and drink. You can eat and drink yourself afterwards. Must he be grateful to the servant for doing what he was told? So with you. When you have done all you have been told to do, say, we are merely servants. We have done no more than our duty, the Gospel of the Lord. Christ, uh, at the beginning of this Gospel, uh, is pointing to this uh, mulberry tree. I don't know if you ever seen a mulberry tree. Eh? In Italian we call it a gelso. Eh? I remember one summer, I was with some friends in Italy, and uh, I think we were, having, we were eating outdoor, basically, under a tree. So I asked the question, what is this tree? And they said to me, it's a mulberry tree. And then the, the, the father of the house said, and the roots are after the house. So I turned, I looked, and the house was a, quite a distance away. And he said to me, the roots of this tree they came out behind the house. So, when Christ speaks of the mulberry tree and the faith and the strength that faith has to uproot a mulberry tree and to plant the tree in the sea, you understand that Christ is saying that with faith, when we live according to faith, when faith leads our life, faith has power over nature. I mean, naturally speaking, today it would be extremely difficult, but in the times of Jesus, to uproot the mulberry tree, it was impossible. And to plant it in the sea is even more impossible. So what Christ is saying to me and you, and this is the beautiful good news, with faith, you, you, can say to your mulberry tree that are the situations that are absolutely impossible for you to do. You have a mulberry tree. That is, you... You have, we have situations uh, that uh, we can't change, no matter how intelligent we may be, no matter how full of goodwill or full of strength or initiative. A mulberry tree in your life, uh, there are situations which we can't uh, uproot. Maybe there is a relation with a person that uh, has created destabilization. Eh? You are not anymore the same, something happened, and you would like to change that situation, to go back, to revert, but you find it impossible. You, you, are, you tried, but you can't change that situation. Or maybe something about yourself. And Christ is saying, each one of us has a mulberry tree a specific one, this mulberry tree, this 
difficulty, this impossibility, this event, I cannot change it by nature. And Christ is saying, by faith, this event can change. That is, faith has power over nature. This is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. You understand that there is a law, that is the law of faith, that has power over nature, over our laws, our limitations, and even over death. That is, uh, faith has uh, eternal life, and eternal life uh, is stronger than life, has power over nature, can change nature, can transform nature. This is incredible good news. But then the second part, okay, uh, this is the good news. How can I live it? How can I make that possible in me? The second part of, of the gospel, speaking about the servant and the master. And what he's saying is this, very simply, saying to, to have faith is not a nine-to-five job. It's not a, a, about actions of faith is to live by faith. Here, the servant has done a lot of actions towards his master. He's plowing, he's minding the sheep, he's preparing the table, he's preparing the food. These are very important actions. And we, and you, in our life, we, maybe we have done actions of faith. Maybe you got married, as an action of faith. You became a priest, or you are, uh, I don't know, you were baptized your daughter as an action of faith. But this gospel is saying one thing is to live as actions of faith, one thing is to live by faith. That is the, what, what the point of the servant is about, is to say, don't do just actions, but live as a servant of the master. Live all the time as a servant. That is, live your life under the light of faith all the time. And what does it mean? That we are children of God all the time. In front of a difficulty, in front of an event, in front of a problem, we are children of God. And this faith has power over our situations. And Christ is saying, live like this. It's not a question of how can I increase it, but live your life. I don't know which life you are in front of you, but this gospel, this Sunday, say to me and you, you can live the whole of your life, day by day, moment by moment, by faith, the faith of the church. And with that faith, you have power over every event that is impossible for you to change. Every decision, getting married, having children, renouncing Satan, there are events which we struggle to do, and faith does it. I don't know how, maybe I'm overexcited because I celebrated the baptism about faith and I saw this faith alive. Eh? But this is a beautiful gospel. Eh? I really, I hope I, I was able to give you a bit of fire eh? because this gospel is full of fire, full of life. God bless you and see you next Sunday.